will handle those requests. Routing is used to map the URL of a request to a controller and then its action method. If you look at the example on the screen, a user is trying to request to delete a product. The user is entering the URL localhost 1234 forward slash API forward slash products forward slash the ID of the product that the user is want to delete. Now if you see the application is handling this URL and is matching the resource that is products to the controller products. So we have a controller in our application called products and the resource from the URL is matching the resource of the controllers. So that's the first level match. After that, we have a delete method inside the controller. That's our delete action method. And it has the attribution, the attribute HTTP delete, which stands for the delete verb that the user is providing along with the URL. Now, after the products resource, you also see a number and that is number two. And that means the user is trying to delete a product with the ID of two. And if you look at the delete method on the right hand side, it takes a ID as an input parameter. And if you look at the attribute, the HTTP delete attribute also takes an ID. The ASP.NET Core application is able to get the ID from the URL and able to pass it as an input parameter to the method. Once the code has the ID for the product and it knows that this is the delete method, it will go on and delete the product from the database. And this is how routing works in an ASP.NET Core web API.